I recently posted a video discussing the golf swing uh, post-back surgery that Tiger Woods brought to the 2017 Farmers Insurance Open this week. In that video, we were focusing on four key movement patterns. Those patterns were left hip flexion, dual hip rotation, torso and rib cage rotation, and club head stability through impact. In that video, we took a look at how the lack of these movement patterns in Tiger's current swing, uh, in comparison to the swing from his prime years, is costing him uh, a fair bit of horsepower as well as control in his swing, particularly in his tee shots. Now as I watched the tournament on the weekend, there's a young player by the name of Patrick Rogers who caught my eye, who we see here on the right, uh, and he's quite the bomber. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to analyze his swing and see uh, how his execution of these movement patterns compares to Tiger now and as well as Tiger in his prime. I won't get into too much detail breaking down Tiger. Uh, I definitely recommend you take a look at my previous video to see the full analysis. But let's do a quick summary just so that we uh, have something to work with here. So what we talked about is when he goes into his downswing. He's created some flexion in his left hip. I know this is right hip, but you can sort of imagine the other side. But, let me take that away. He had a difficult time keeping that flexion. So you can see he's starting to extend. And when he does that, it stalls the rotation of his left side. So instead of getting dual hip rotation, he's got one that's stalled, and therefore it looks a little bit awkward. And because of that, if his hip and pelvis isn't rotating, his rib cage is also limited enough where it can rotate. And so he is forced to use his hands a bit more through impact to square the club, which is a less stable release pattern than the old Tiger, who we'll have a look at a little bit later in the video. So now let's look at the swing of Patrick Rogers on the right here, who I believe led the field in driving distance this week. So as he starts down, we're going to see very nice hip flexion. And even though he's standing up or jumping a bit, he's maintaining that flexion. And it's less frames per second here, but we see he's achieved much better rotation of his hips and pelvis. So essentially we can see both butt cheeks. Now he's wearing a pretty perfect shirt for this analysis. So when we look up at his rib cage rotation, we can focus on the, the white stripes. Again, I'm sorry for the quality of this video. But you can really see how much he's turned his torso and his ribs to the point where he's pretty much got his chest facing the target before he's hit the ball or as he's about to hit it. And because he's done that, he's essentially pulling his hands through impact while squaring the club with his body rotation rather than needing to use his hands like we saw Tiger doing. So he has that look where he's... Well, it's pretty blurry, but the look is that he's pulling the club through and he's not having his hands roll over until after the ball's gone, which means that his club face was held pretty stable going through impact. So the result we saw for most of the week was huge drives that stayed relatively under control. And he certainly didn't suffer from a two-way miss. When I pull up Tiger's old swing from his prime years up on the left here, we see that the Patrick Rogers move, 
There's the flexion and the rotation. So Patrick Rogers' move is a lot more in common with Tiger's swing from his prime than it does with the one that he's using right now. Here's a cool shot I got of Patrick teeing off on the 18th at Torrey this week with the Pro Tracer. You can see a moon ball. And on the bottom right there, we see his ball speed is 188 miles per hour, which is pretty insane. Uh, I believe the PGA Tour average is about 165 miles per hour, which in itself is pretty fast. So it's only natural to wonder uh, where Patrick may have been inspired to learn to swing like that. Uh, Patrick was born in 1992, so when he was four years old, a certain someone was swinging like this on TV. Watch his extension back away from the ball. So just huge rotation and ridiculous speed. Uh, it's just a theory, but it's entirely possible that uh, young Patrick Rogers saw this on TV and set to work using his athleticism to try and find the way that he could best copy these movements to create that kind of speed. And I think we're seeing that now on the PGA Tour of all these young guys that are coming up who bomb it and mimic a young Tiger Woods. And I think Tiger and his older body is faced with having to compete with highly skilled athletes that are essentially copying Tiger's own moves from his prime. And that's not going to be an easy task. One last thing I wanted to mention is that uh, I'm sure there are people out there who, who question you know, whether Tiger's old swing was what did his back in or if uh, swinging like Patrick here is going to be bad for your spine. Uh, I believe it's not and I'm just going to show you why here. If you look at his spine it's a little bit of a tricky kind of image but we can sort of see how in here his back is almost concave or in extension kind of like how uh, you know someone tells you to stand up and have good posture that type of thing. Tiger over here he seems to be okay but he's closer to being in spine flexion, which is actually what puts pressure on your back, like as if you're doing a crunch at a very high speed. So it's easy to get tricked and to see kind of this curve here and think that that's torquing his back in a bad way, but really that's, if you think about it, he's turned his torso, this is more of a side bend than a, you know, a crunching or spine flexion bending going on. So I believe that he is going to be quite safe swinging like this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'll be continuing to post new content in the future.